government has no conscience. Sometimes it just has a policy, but nothing more. This is a quote by Albert Cummins. So uh, today I'm going to talk about Chinese one-child policy. I said in the survey that 90% 90, 90 of people from our class know the simple definition of one-child policy, but do not really know their influence and the exceptions. So today I'm going to talk about the benefits and drawbacks of one-child policy and how the government changes it and the difference between one-child family and multi-child family. <coughs> As you all know the definitions, I'm just going to start talking about the advantages. Uh, by the statistical uh, sources, uh, one-child policy is implemented by uh, 1979, and this law almost prevented 250 million new births. So uh, this is kind of slow down the uh, social uh, and economic and environmental problems associated with Chinese uh, rapidly growing <coughs> uh, population. This is a picture about uh, Chinese people purchasing ticket in the railway station. They are trying to go home during Chinese New, uh, New Year. It, we can see a lot of bunch of people here. So imagine if we do not have the one child policy, uh, how many people will China, China right now have? Especially Chinese have a 1.3 billion uh, large population basis. Even though this uh, one child policy has something good to solve some population problems, but they still have some drawbacks. So uh, for this picture, you can see the uh, this is a distribution of majority uh, distribution of Chinese population. You can see the majority the majority of Chinese people are between 40 to 50. So obviously, Chinese people are getting older. Uh, the normal um, population model that um, country should have their majority people between 25 and 40. So <coughs> facing these serious problems. Chinese government trying to make some changes. They add some exceptions and rules that allow you to have another child. Uh, if you, uh, according to the Chinese uh, government document, if you are from, uh, if your parents, uh, one of your parents from a family that is one child, you can have another child. Or in the rural areas, areas if you have your first child is a girl or disabled, then you can have another child. Also, the non-resident Chinese and resident in Macau and Hong Kong, um, you can have another child that do not need to follow the one-child policy. <coughs> so, based on those changes, Chinese government also gave compensations. Those uh, have those have families have rights to give another child, but they still follow one-child policy. But it's only worth like a hundred dollars. But uh, for my family, I have a little younger sister, but the government charge my parents for 35 grand to pay for another child. That is a way too much compared to that hundred dollar. So, um, uh, however, as long as Chinese government still imply the one child policy, it will still exist a lot of more uh, problems. So I'm going to furthermore talk about the difference between one child family and multi-child families. You can see from this picture, this is a, a family that who lose their only child when they are too old that cannot give another uh, to cannot have another child. So you can see the crying face on the, on the mom. It is too sad. Uh, every year, Chinese have happened a lot of tragedies that the only child died from unexpected disease or unexpected accidents or disaster. It is uh, this kind of population are more and more. And also another, uh, if you have another child in your family, I think it will not like destroy your, fam your parents' life. It will still have they, it will be still kept working on. Another problem is that we call four to one. From this uh, picture, you can see if you are the only child of your family, you have two parents and four grandparents. As Chinese do not have a complemented social security system, so almost majority of Chinese people are raising their older generation by themselves. So if you are the only child, you have to raise six older generation. That is a way much too pressure for one child. But if you have siblings, I think that will be solving this kind of problem. Another thing is that you can easily get a, a spoiled for one child. From this picture, you can see um, if you are the only child of your family, and then your parents will like uh, love you more and allow everything that you want because you are the only child. So this is really different from the multi-child families. Also, I saw a survey from our classes 
um, almost eighty percent of people who have siblings think that it's more, much more happier and not as a way to have to have your siblings together with you. So it will be much more happy to have a lot more children in your family. So above all, I gave a lot of information about uh, Chinese one child policy. I informed you the uh, advantages and the disadvantages. I mentioned the government changes and illustrate the problems and uh, the difference between the multi child family, a multi children family, and one child families. So, hope you all have a better understanding about right now what the one, one child policy is, and hope you're all interested in my topic.